Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you've all been doing very well. I'm really excited to be sharing today's video because today's video is one of your all time favorites. This is what I eat in a week as a vegan. I hope that it inspires you to get creative in the kitchen, to try new things and yeah, as always, all of the recipes that I feature in today's video will be down in the description box below. And if you do try any of them, make sure to tag me on Instagram so that I can see your creations. Anyway, yeah, with all that being said, let's get into the video. This is what I eat in a week and I hope you enjoy. breakfast this morning I very simply had a couple of pieces of gluten-free toast and then on that I also had some vegan butter as well as Vegemite and some leftover guacamole from the night before that I used uh, for dinner so yeah I just had that on toast for breakfast in the mid morning I got a little bit peckish so I decided to snack on these chocolate bliss balls which are really delicious I like just having these in the house for if I feel like a light snack after that, I decided to make some homemade gluten-free chocolate peanut butter granola. That was a bit of a mouthful. Uh, the recipe for this will be down in the description box below. It's less of a crunchy granola and more sort of like a soil, if that makes sense. If you've ever had like a chocolate soil sort of thing that you sprinkle on top of smoothie bowls and things like that, this is what that is like. So I made a bulk amount, but then I served a little bit of it in a bowl with some fresh fruit as well as some soy milk. And this is what I ended up having for lunch. For dinner, we had some friends over for drinks and board games and dinner. And so I made us some uh, raspberry lime cocktails, which were really delicious. And then with that, we also had dinner. So my friend Sophie, who's an amazing vegan cook, she brought over some salad as well as some creamy vegan pasta bake. And then she also made a really, really delicious dessert as well which was like this vegan small slice. It was so, so good. So on Tuesday morning, I'm once again starting with some toast, but today I'm very simply just having some peanut butter on toast and then I'm also having some orange with it. I got these really amazing oranges at the local farmer's market and yeah, they're so good. I'm obsessed with them. So this is a very simple but very delicious breakfast that I had on Tuesday. Then from there, I decided to make this really nice warm uh, sun-dried tomato kale quinoa salad that I've been loving. So in a pan, I started with spring onion and garlic and kale. Then I also added in some cooked quinoa as well as sun-dried tomatoes. This is really, really delicious and really flavorful. And I just toss it around until the kale gets nice and soft and the sun-dried tomatoes start to cook. And then I also topped this with some leftover crispy chickpeas that I still had in the fridge. And then I used this really delicious barbecue, not barbecue, <laughs> burger sauce that Cara had in the fridge, which recently got released at Coles and it's really delicious. So I had that on top. In the afternoon, I was in the mood for a snack plate, as you can probably tell. So I had some of my favorite smoky barbecue crackers with some garlic hummus, as well as more of those delicious oranges and then some biscuits. These are the biscuits that I have. If you're wondering, they're vegan and gluten-free. You can get them from Woolworths here in Australia obsessed so yeah i have this snack plate uh, i'm really in the mood for a snack plate watching this actually so i might have to do this today but yeah that got me through until dinner i started preparing dinner early because i was making a pumpkin soup so I roasted a whole pumpkin just with a little bit of olive oil until it was really nice and caramelized. And then in the blender, I just blended it with some herbs and spices and coconut cream. And I will put the recipe down in the description box below. So Wednesday morning, I was going for a long walk, but I was feeling hungry before I head out. So I decided to just make my usual PB cacao smoothie. I haven't been having this that much lately because it's winter here in Australia and it's just been a little bit too cold to have smoothies. But today I was really feeling it and I was just feeling like something small and easy. So that's what I had for breakfast. And then once I got home from my walk, I was still in the mood for cacao. Apparently I made myself a hot cacao and this, uh, 
took me over until lunchtime. For lunch, I again was just having a bit of a leftovers moment. And so I just started by first of all, cooking up some chickpea pasta, which is of course gluten-free. And then in a pan, I fried some cherry tomatoes. I had some leftover pumpkin soup from the night before. So I just used this as the pasta sauce. And honestly, it was so delicious. I think I'm gonna do this like all the time now with leftover soup. And then I serve this in a bowl. And then of course I put my cherry tomatoes on top. And as with most things, I topped it with spring onion because I love spring onion on pretty much everything. Next thing you know, I'm gonna be putting spring onion on my hot cacao, just joking. I won't ever do that, I promise. <laughs> For an afternoon snack, I had one of these ice creams because they were on special at the supermarket and they were really delicious. And then that evening, I went to my friend Bonnie and Emily's house and uh, they made us a really, really delicious dinner, which was some quinoa, charred corn, greens, chickpea tempeh, and then this amazing, like, I don't even know what this sauce is called, but Bonnie seriously nailed it. It is such an amazing sauce. Thursday I was in the mood for pancakes. I'm still new to the gluten-free pancake game, but I think I did a pretty good job with these. I made six pancakes in total, some for me and some for Cara, my housemate and my best friend. Uh, and then I also did some of them with chocolate chips uh, and I had a little bit of a moment. This pancake is so big. It's like, I tried to make it the same size as the other ones and it's yes, and you just failed. I just so failed. <laughs> anyway, so I ended up also having one choc chip pancake, which was huge with some coconut yogurt and strawberries. And then I had two of the uh, just regular pancakes with lemon and maple syrup on top. And this was a really delicious way to start the day. For lunch, I was feeling like a Herbie Avo Smash, which I have been really loving at the moment. It will be down in the description box below the recipe for this. It's so good. I recommend you try it. Uh, it just adds some freshness to a usual Avo toast. And I also put some tahini drizzle on top. I've been loving tahini so much lately. And then of course, I topped it with spring onions because that's what I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is really, really, really delicious. And then for dinner this night, I went to a local restaurant called Greenhouse, which you might've heard of. It is a fully vegan and gluten-free restaurant here on the Gold Coast. I started with a house-made lemonade. And then I also had these buffalo cauliflower wings, which are one of my favorite things on the menu. This came with some vegan ranch as well, which again is so delicious. And then as well as that, I also had a vegan cauliflower mac and cheese, which was topped with crispy kale, as well as rice paper bacon. So good. On Friday morning, I started by making some rice paper bacon and then I also roasted some tomatoes to make a vegan big brekkie. I had a couple of pieces of toast with some avocado on top and then I drizzled some leftover tahini drizzle from the day before. Like I said, loving tahini. I served it with some of my rice paper bacon. I love how Eva is in the background watching me make my breakfast. And then I also had my roasted tomatoes as well as some spring onion on top as well as some sesame seeds. And this was my very delicious breakfast, probably my favorite breakfast of the whole week, to be honest. For lunch, I decided to once again make some pasta. I'm using this chickpea pasta again. And today was a bit of a leftovers kind of lunch day, just using up whatever I had left. So I charred some corn, added in the rest of my kale and cherry tomatoes that I had left over and I fried this up until it was nice and crispy. Then I added in my chickpea pasta as well as some passata uh, and then yeah I mixed this together and this was a very very simple lunch and I really enjoy this just like getting whatever I have left in the fridge or the pantry and putting it into a bowl. And yeah, I find this a really good way to use up the last of the ingredients that I have left. This night we went for dinner to my friend Bray's house and she's once again an amazing cook. And she made us some homemade vegan ramen and oh my goodness, it was so, so delicious. I wanna work on my own recipe for um, ramen, but yeah, this was such an amazing way to end a Friday. Thank you so much, Bray, for such a delicious dinner. <laughs> So 
So on Saturday morning, I started very simply again with a couple of pieces of toast with Vegemite as well as avocado on top. And then I also had a little bit of pink salt very simple breakfast as per usual. Then I also decided to make some vegan and gluten-free double chocolate cookies. These were so delicious. The recipe once again is in the description box below if you want to try it. These are probably the best gluten-free cookies I have ever made. I love them so much and so did Kara. <laughs> um, so yeah, these were really delicious. And then from there I decided to make a cauliflower and butter bean curry. I've been really loving making curries at the moment since I sort of branched out and challenged myself with my cooking. So yeah, I decided to make one of these for lunch. I also added in some spinach to get the greens in. I really like adding spinach into my curries. And then I served this with some rice as well as coconut yogurt and spring onions. For dinner, I decided to make myself a black bean chili. So I just started with some spring onions, garlic, chili, and oil, and then added in some tomato and black beans. Again, the recipe is in the description box below for you. I served this with some rice, and then very weirdly, on top of this, I put some more tahini drizzle. Like I said, the tahini obsession is like very present right now. And then I also topped this with some coriander, and it was really delicious. On Sunday morning, I didn't have a whole heap of groceries left, so I just had some of my chocolate soil granola, and then I put it with some coconut yogurt, and then of course also served it with some soy milk. Very simple and delicious way to start the day. From there, I decided that I was really in the mood for nachos. As you guys have probably know, nachos are one of my favorite meals in the world. So I started with some corn chips as well as some salsa that I just bought from the grocery store. Then I topped this with some smoky black beans as well as charred corn. On top of this, I then put a uh, creamy cashew cheese that I made as well as then piling on more corn chips, more beans, more corn and more cashew cheese sauce. Then I topped this with a whole bunch of guacamole. By the way, Cara and I shared this, just so you know. Uh, and then I also topped it with spring onions. And the recipe for this also is in the description box below for you. I love nachos so much. Just call me the nacho queen. Okay, so for dinner, I just decided to make like a creamy sun-dried tomato pasta. So the pasta sauce was a base of cashews with a whole heap of sun-dried tomatoes. Again, recipe is down below for you. I cooked some gluten-free pasta and then I also cooked some crispy kale. And then, yeah, this very simply served myself and Cara, my housemate, with some pasta, creamy sauce and kale, which was a very beautiful way to end a very delicious week of vegan food. Alrighty, my beautiful friends, so that is everything that I ate in a week as a vegan. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any video requests, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for being here and for supporting my YouTube channel. I appreciate it and you so much. And I will see you very soon with another fun video. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye. That was so... That was a lot. That was a lot.